Hello all and welcome. Today I am taking a look at Mobile Markets, a smartphone ink game. Now as CEO, we are competing with other smartphone manufacturers on the global stage. There's planning, there's research, marketing, pricing, production and a host of other activity as we try to sell more and profit the most. Now this one is medium complexity. It plays one to four, takes about 40 to 80 minutes and we can see the designer and all the publishers there as well. Well, so let's take a closer look, folks. Okay, then, today's run through is just myself as usual. I've got a two player setup. We've got the orange slash yellow player here, and we've got the blue player here. This is your area you're producing your smartphone. On your board, you can see the goods, the amount of goods you'll be producing, how much net profit you'll be attaining for each one of those products when you sell, hopefully. And here you can bolt on some lovely specifications to your phone and there's various costs as well now it's actually surprisingly a bit of a table hog so there's a few components just out of camera view but i'll bring them into play to show you what they are like so what have we got then we have got these modular boards well not so much modular the boards that fit together and you'll go from a price range of two all the way up to eight so they're used to represent the price at the bottom and the stages at the top so we start off in the preparation phase now before that Yep, you've got your own player board. You've got these decision boards here. You should have two of these, one of the white, one of the black. You'll have a starting technology as well. We've start, look for those in the deck. I've kind of just tucked them under here. And you will have one of these starting technology cards as well. Now, the initiative will determine who's going first. And you start off at the price of five. The lowest initiative will be first. So yellows are furthest to the left and I've just took these under here so you work from left to right so blue will be a second over here we've got some technologies you'll be able to to purchase and the decks are just hiding at the top we've got the marketing and then we've got some more bits and bobs we can add to our phone so the first thing we're going to do is reset the markers to five boom first round we're then going to reveal the top event card now this starting card we've got a two player so we got it this way up you've got solo three and four player on the other side so this shows how many customers are going to come out onto play so you need a little bit of space here as well and I'll kind of streamline my way through. I won't take too long over decision making to give you a really good flavor of how this game works. So we're going to reveal one of five event cards. And there's loads more. I've given a random shuffle. So we've got five here just to start of you. And the first one says, the government supports a package of anti-crisis measures for mobile. So we get to ignore one of these costs on our board, which is nice. And you can see it's going to bring this type of customer into play. And there is a good on the top there, which reminds us we will be able to produce an extra good this turn. So you then, if you're on the second round, you're going to discard any of these cards that have a number one on. So this one, for example, this one, this one here. But we're starting up, so we don't need to do that. And any remaining cards, you put one of these minus one tokens on to show, look, it's cheaper next round. But the round after that, they'll be disappearing. So hopefully, I'll give you an explanation of that in a minute. And then you refill back up. And now, we add new customers to the market. So we've got these decks just out of camera. We've got the green that are after variety. We've got, uh, I think they're called regular customers. And it says on this uh, reference sheet here, you've got a few reminders of what icons are all about. So you've got variety-seeking customers, regular customers, and complex customers. So we're after, we're looking at the green icons. We've got two of those. So we're going to grab two. So we've got the blue ones. We are after two regular customers. And we can see the complex ones. We've got two plus this additional one on the event. So different events have different number of customers that come out. And then you literally flip these over and you match up the red number to the red number on the player boards there. Well, the, the, the setup, because these are the prices that your customers are willing to pay. Hopefully, I've got enough space. So what have we got? We've got some eights, sevens and eights. There we go. So... I'll come round to what these guys are demanding in a minute or what they're after in their phones. So we then move over to planning 
And in this stage, each player is going to arrange their player balls. And they've got, uh, they got different things on different sides, pluses, minus. So the minus dollar is going to impact your price. So if you want your price to be lower, you're going to want to see that one visible. These black crates are more goods that you will you have more goods produced. This sort of blue symbol matches these. That's about technology and acquiring these and, and the uh, the additional items. You've got marketing icons. If you turn over, you've got plus dollar symbols. And that's pretty much all the symbols. Now, the only things you have to worry about is you have to at least cover one of the spots. So, you know, that's a legal move. You could not cover all of them. And I think that's pretty much it, as, as long as the, the bottom one you choose has got at least one covered. So what your decision process then? So you're kind of looking at these thinking, well, do I want to try and acquire one of these cards? And you can always acquire one if you've got enough of the technology points available. You can acquire as many of these on your go, as long as you have enough to spend or progress tokens, which you can acquire from round to round for, for unspent ones of these. So you're thinking, right, any of these look good. You then think, right, any of the marketing cards I want. Do I want to increase or lower my price? So there's a lot of variables to be thinking about. The customers in play are, you know, this chap here is willing to pay up to two for his phone or he'll pay any price if you have a lovely camera function and your phone is fold, you know, can fold. These guys up to three or a 5G capable phone with specification of three stars. These guys aren't too fussed, they just want a phone up to four. And these guys, high tech, they're after a price of a phone up to seven, but it must have 5G or it must have a nice camera function. So you kind of look at it thinking, right, Maybe price is, is vital first. What technologies you got? So these guys have got the foldable phone. These have got 5G. There's no way I can plan two players all at once. So I'm just going to... What are we going to do? Let's just roll with this and see what happens. So we'll place that there. And you do this simultaneously and then you'd reveal... I'm just randomly choosing and let's see what happens then. So we have arranged, we reveal once we're ready, we now go over to the pricing phase. So we've, we've done our preparation, we've done our planning and pricing, starting with the yellow player because depending on where they go, they will have an impact as to if they're first or not. So yellows have plus two dollars. So we've started at five, they're going up to seven then, plus two, and you go in the leftmost spot. These guys have minus $2, so they're coming all the way down to three in the left spot. Now, that will determine the new player order for the remainder of the round, working with the lowest price phone because they're the most attractive in terms of price. So these, just keep these aside because you'll need to see the icons. I'll bring those back into play in a set. So you've done pricing. You've determined the new turn order. It's a turn order. It says all the sort of aspects of the turn nicely on each section. So technology, starting with the, the, the first player, so it's going to be blue now, they can get to buy one of these cards and as many of these. So the blue player have visible one, two, three of these technology symbols. And what are they going to spend them on? So they're looking at their price is free and... Mm, not a lot of profit to be made potentially. So what do they want then? These customers are after, well, they, they could get these ones because they're not after anything in particular. They've already got 5G. Maybe they want, what can they afford? Maybe a nice camera. Now these cards, you can see some of them have two technologies. It's going to cost you three technology points, but they have a cost on this particular case. The dollar sign. So every time you place that in your factory, in your phone, that is an extra cost that reduces your net profit, whereas some of the cards have zero cost. So let's not think too hard. We're going to get this 8K. We have spent three of our technology points, and we've got one remaining. Maybe we don't want to buy anything. We're just going to take a progress token and keep that the next round okay next player yellows have three of these symbols visible and we're going to go for a card is that a good idea or not so what have we got did uh, we could go for this one now these cards and you can see the costs you can see what department they trigger in and you can see this particular one is giving you two stars on your product which could be great because some of these guys are after three stars or whatever they may be so we're going to add this one just sneak that underneath so we know that activates during the sales and how much did that cost that cost free so they've spent all of their technology points we move over them 
marketing. Now, you don't replenish these. These get replenished at the end of the round. And there's only five rounds. So, in reverse turn order, the yellows are going to go first. Now, they're going to buy up to one of these marketing cards. Now, for any you don't buy, if you don't want to buy any, you can spend your marketing points. So, these guys have got free on attaining customers. And they're called private customers, which you will hopefully fulfill first before you head to the market. Now, let's give you a demonstration of buying a card. Let's not think too much. We're going to go for this one. So spending all three points, and this will trigger in the sales phase. Customers consider your price to be one lower if you have the ability to fold your phone on your particular product. Now, yellows do have that ability, so that's great. We will keep that one under here, and we have spent all our marketing points. Over to blue then, so remember it's reverse order, and it reminds you on here. Now, Let's just say blue, they don't want any of these cards. They are going to spend all three of their marketing points on attaining customers. Now, remember, there's three types of customers, and their price is quite low down here. So they're going to go with three regulars. So they put these in their own personal private supply. So we'll just put those there. And we've done marketing. So you can see how streamlined this is production then. So in any order, really, you're going to produce your goods. Uh, let's just go with Blues first because they're the first player. So the goods you're going to produce then, you're going to look at the event cards. And it kind of reminds you on here. So look at your event cards. There is one symbol visible. That's one. We're then going to look at the number of covered cells and visible cells. So what that means is the blues have one, two, three crates visible. So we're going to go up to four. And we covered one spot as well. So for each spot you cover, it doesn't have to be this symbol. It could have been this symbol. But each spot you cover, you're going to get good. Now, the way it kind of uh, reminds you to do that is however many spots you can see, minus that from 10, and that's your number. So two, four, six, eight, nine. 10 minus 9 is 1, so, you know, just a little sneaky way if you've sort of got a configuration like that and you're like, well, I'm never covered. So we add that on, so we've got 1 from here, we've got 3 from here, and an additional 1 for covering. So we have the capacity for 5 phones to sell. Over to these guys then, they are, what have we got? So we've got 1 from the event, we have got 1 visible on our decision board, so that's 2, and we only covered up one spot. So we've got three goods to sell. Over to sales then. So starting with a blue players, they're going to create their product and they're going to do all of this action first and then the opponent is going to chip in. So their product, they have only got the capability to have a foldable phone. Now, do they want that? They can sell it to free goods. They have price their phone quite cheaply so they potentially be able to get these two customers because they will buy a phone up to the value of four and the way these customers are sort of laid out sort of is handy for showing you that these guys can buy well potentially acquire these customers here and if you priced at five you may be outpriced here but there's a bit of flexibility of some of these because they will pay any price for the uh, bottom configurations but i'll go through that now so decision time what are they going to add to their phone now i think we are in a spot of bother because we haven't really in invested in any of these ten many of these technologies we've only got the foldable phone capability but I think we can do it because we're only selling free products. Not great. So we're not going to put any technology into here, and I'll show you why. So our net profit then, that's the next aspect. So you determine your net profit. So first you add any cards, like, and you just place them here, but we are not going to do that. Net profit then. So you look at your price of free. Set that to free. You then got a base cost. So we knock one off for the cost, which is just generally the cost of making the phone. And if we did have any technologies here, for example, this one, there's a symbol of a dollar, you take it down again one because there's a cost to making your phone fold. Or if you ever filled this third spot, there's an additional cost because your phone is, is ram jam full of stuff. So our net profit then is two. And it reminds you here, your set price, which is free, minus any manufacturing costs then. Next thing we are going to do is actually sell our products. Now, we've got free to sell. You have to sell to your private customers first. These guys haven't got any. These guys have, so we'll demonstrate that in a minute. Now they go to the market. You work your way from left to right, 
and it's bottom to top. And you have to follow that order, it's important. So we look at this customer, and they are willing to buy a phone of up to two in value. We're priced at three, so it's too expensive for this customer. Or, it's like a divide symbol, if our phone has camera function and it's foldable, they'll buy it as well for whatever price it is. But we have not got those capabilities because we didn't add this one and we didn't do that on purpose because we didn't have the camera function. So this customer staying there, we move on. These guys are willing to buy a phone up to value free. Our price is free, boom, we've attained a customer in our sales pile. These two customers then start from the bottom, they are willing to buy a phone up to four. Boom, we've acquired that, and we have taken this one now. The goods produced is free. We have free customers. That is the end of the sales for this player. Over to Blues then. And where are we? Oh, have I actually... I've, I've, <laughs> I've chosen yellow. I've been doing yellow and yellow up here. Right, let me get my bearings then. I'm actually doing blue. Right, what have we done here then? So, blue. Let's start again. We'll put those to zero. So I've been doing the wrong colour. Now, blue then was priced at free. They did have 8K and 5G. Does this change anything? Probably not. So we're not going to put any of those in there. Our base cost is still just the one reduced. So, yeah, net profit too. But we can have up to five products. Now, let's just see if we can meet these requirements. So these guys, yeah, they were willing to buy that at the free. These guys are willing to buy it. But we've got two more products. Now, are these guys interested... Mm, well, we have got 5G. Mm, we probably should have put the 5G in here. But let's say, you know, we've miscalculated on our phone. So we've only sold to three customers. Now, if we had had this 5G in here, these guys would have been interested because the, the price of the phone was, was up to seven. They wouldn't have paid any more. And we had 5G capability. Boom, another customer. These guys equally would have paid up to eight and had 5G. So we missed a trick there. Got confused with the colors. So they are done. Over to yellows. Now, they have a starting price of seven. They've gone premium end. Is this going to pay off? And we then take our specifics, what we're going to build. So do we want to... Oh, I've completely forgot about the regular customers. Ouch, right. I've made a right hash of this. Right, let's, let's start again, folks. Let's get this right. So this is how it was. And we're going with blues first. Now, you go with your private customers first. Very important. So we look at these. These guys are all willing to buy a phone up to the value of five, six, and six. Our phone is bargain basement price. It's free. So all three of these customers have joined our sales pile. We still got two more phones to sell. And what did we say? These guys would buy one. Yep, price are free. And these guys. So we've done it right then. Blues have sold all five phones. So we leave them there for now. Over to yellows then. Yellows have got no private customers. But first, we set our price of seven. We're going to pick what technologies. Technologies then. We've only got the foldable phone. No one's really after a foldable phone. Okay, that's a shame. <laughs> so their base price is, 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 is net profit is seven minus the one of the base cost is six. So making loads of profit. But can we even sell any phones then? So we are looking at this customer. They're willing to pay up to two. No, way too expensive. Our price of the phone is seven. These guys aren't willing to buy. Oh, we've, we've, we've made a big boo-boo. <laughs> so four is too expensive. And these guys would buy it, but we don't have 5G. And we don't have uh, the, the camera capability. We've sold no phones. So, yeah, I rushed through that. And uh, Yellows have, have produced a, a rubbish phone. So, at the end of that, then, you literally go over to Profit, and you're going to get a bonus for having the most market share, which is the most phones sold. So, Blue sold a whopping five phones. Now, this is the way you keep track of your money, so you're all starting on zero. And what we got, so bonus uh, for Blues is eight. So, we take that up to eight. Now, Yellows did not sell a phone, so they're not participating. If they had, they would have got full money. You then resolve any of these effects at the bottom. So this particular card will trigger in the profit phase. And it says, get one progress token if you didn't sell all your, your products at sales. We did sell all five of our products. These guys, they're going to profit and take one private customer 
from the deck if you don't sell all your products yourself. They sold no products, so they're going to take this private customer for next time. And they've got another one in the sales phase. Customers consider your price to be one lower, which didn't have an impact, actually. I should have considered that. And uh, only if we had this function added on. So would not have made a difference in being able to sell. You then do a bit of a multiplication. So we sold five phones and we made two profits. So 10. So you'd look at this, you'd add your 10. I'm not going to keep realistic track, but you can see you got a token to go out from 0 to 50, 100, and you work your way on here. So they would have made five times the two, 10 profit for those phones. And then these guys have made zilch, no products purchased them. You then get rid of all your customers that you have sold phones to, to put them in a discard pile. You bring this back around and you're in the preparation phase. Again, now if you had any of these uh, additions onto your phone, just sort of take them off and put them aside and you can restart them again. Take these back to zero and we are good to go on the preparation phase. So move your markers back to five. Now this is based on who is behind on the money track and it's definitely going to be yellows. So yellows will go to number five in the leftmost spot. So they'll be first for now. Blues are up. Now we reveal the top event card and you sort of stack these. I'll move this to the side. Stack these so you're covering up the actual, uh, what well, we've got the word in, but you're keeping the customers visible. And this one, a scandal in Silicon Valley. You're going to minus one star to all products this round. So that's the latest event in play. We then discard any cards from here which have a one, or if they did have one of these on here from a previous round. So we're going to discard this one, this one, this one, and these as well. We've got a one there and a one there. We then, with the remainder, we're going to put a cheeky discount on there. So you know, more attractive, and then you can refill these back up. Wow, all the uh, marketing cards are quite low value there. We've got some new additions to the the pot. Now, the orange yellow player, I keep calling them orange yellow, let's call them orange. Orange player needs some new technologies. Now, we've done that one. We've refilled, add new customers then. So these will remain here. We can now see the green visible quantities is two here and one here. So we're going to bring out three green customers. We've got two regular blues and we've got two, three, four of these complex. So all these customers are coming out. Remember, you match up the red numbers. I am no way you're going to have enough space for this. There we go. I might have to just sort of cover a few of them up. There we go. Okay, just about. Right, job done. We move on to planning. Now, I'm going to speed this up. I'm not going to think too much, but essentially you all get these out again and you're like, oh, which one shall I go for? Let's say you do that one. These guys, right, yeah, let's just do that one. Planning done. Pricing. This player's first. They are, have got a plus and a minus, so they're staying where they are in five. These guys have got a minus, so they're going down, and they'll be the new starting player. Over to here, so the blue player is going to buy one of these technologies. They've got three, where are we? Two visible, and they've also got one progress token from a future round, so they've got three to spend. So you could buy one of these at the reduced prices. So you could buy this one for two if they wanted 5G. Add him to here. Next player goes. They've got up to three to spend. Once you've done that, you go into marketing. These guys are going to spend uh, reverse order now. So it goes with yellows. They're going to spend these two. Buy a card. Blues, yep, spend these two. Maybe you want to get some more private customers. We then go over to production. So the blue player is looking at here, going, right, I've got one, two, three products. I'm covering up three as well, so that's six. Uh, and then there's seven, eight. So eight visible tokens there. So we go up to eight, so that's our production. These guys have got one, two visible. They're covering up two, so that's four. We've got another two there, so that's six products they're producing over to sales so the blue player is going to create their product first and they're like right i'm just going all out i'm adding 5g i'm adding 8k you then work out your net profit so starting price is four and then they've got one for the base cost and two for having 5g knock that down too so two is the net profit this time 
then they're going to sell their products. So they look at their private customers first. They haven't got any. They managed to shift them all last time. And where are we? Blues. And so these guys are after a foldable phone. No. Nope. So, and uh, they haven't got a camera as well. No, we can't fulfill this one. We've got no camera. We can't do that one. We haven't got that function. We can sell to these guys a phone for four. These guys will buy them as well because they don't mind paying four for a phone. We can go up to eight. We can't, we can do this one because we've got a price of up to seven. Plus we've got 5G. Oh no, we start from the bottom, sorry. We've got 8K, yeah, we can do that one. That's our fourth customer. That's our fifth customer. That's our sixth customer. These ones are after three stars. Now stars, you can see we've got two stars visible, so we cannot meet that requirement. The one below it we can't do. We've got 5G. This 5G is paying off. And we've got this one as well. So we have two, four, six, eight customers. Wow, that worked out well. Uh, so we keep all them. These guys are up, and what have they got then? So their starting price, well, we've got to decide what we want on their board first. Again, I rushed through. I didn't buy them any technology, so they're just going to add this one. I'm just demonstrating really quickly how the, the, the flow works again. And figuring out our net profit. So they've got a price of five, and they've got a base cost of one, a cost for this foldability, so that's two there. So net profit of three. We're then selling these. So we start with our private customers who, no chance, they will only pay up to two, and they want 5G and that function there. It's going to be zero sales again, isn't it, folks? Okay. Uh, which show, oh, no, actually, we might make a sale here. Okay. So we start here. No, we haven't got both of them. We haven't got that. We haven't got that. We haven't got that one. We have got a customer. They're willing to buy a phone up to the value of eight. We've got a uh, value of five and three stars. We've only got one star, but this sales capability below says that we have two stars on our product. Boom, we've sold a phone. We've also sold this one because they are exactly the same. So two phones sold. Excellent. Okay, so now we go over to profit and the bonus. So these guys sold the most. They're going to get a bonus of eight. These have sold a phone. They get a bonus of four. You resolve any of these bottom ones relating to profit. So game one progress token. If you've uh, not sold all of your phones, they did. Take one private. So they're going to get another private customer because they didn't sell all their phones. And customers considered their price to be one lower, which I don't think made a difference again. You've got to really keep track of all these extra uh, fun uh, abilities you've attained. So then you resolve those effects like we've just done. Multiply. So these guys have sold eight phones times the two is 16. Add that to this board like we've already done. And what have these guys got? So they sold two of the phones at three, six. Oh, dear. And you carry on and you got five event cards in total. Once they've all been exhausted, you will end the game and you'll add up any money from your player boards here. Sometimes some of the cards give you abilities to score some extra money. At the end of the game, whoever has the most money is the winner, folks. What a lovely little re-implementation of the original game, this one. Loads to think about. Not that I can do two players at once here, but yeah, give it a go, folks. Enjoy.